Dandelions on the lawn. Gotta take care of those. Ooh. Oh yeah. What the heck is this? Oh, garbage. Yeah, buddy. New knife day. Now, down to the back cave. What is going on guys? Carter here with whatever I'm calling my channel now, Blade Empire. Man, I have I have got a clean. You can tell I've been on a Chavez slash arcane design kick, right? Tend to do that. Uh I gotta knock it off. I go a little crazy on certain brands and models. So this is no exception. This is the creme de la creme of the latest drop from Arcane Designs. This is another crypt, but it's not just a normal crypt. It is a special crypt. And it is a crypt I am excited to get. However, it makes me realize, oh man, it's these boxes again. I cannot seem to figure these damn things out. I don't get how they open. I don't understand. It looks like it should uh, looks like it should open a certain way, and then it it freaking doesn't. More stickers. Gotta love the stickers. All right, guys, let's get into it. Quick unboxing. Sorry for the frantic, out of breathness of this video. Got some red wrapping paper. I suck at unboxings. I don't know why I even do them, to be honest. If I'm being honest with you. Ooh, here we go. Cool. Happy about that. Uh, this is a special edition here. So another crypt, like you know, this is in the Damastil Satin Black. Ooh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. So this is nicer than I was expecting. Um which I don't know why. I don't know what I was expecting, uh, but it wasn't supposed to be this nice. This is uh, this is beautiful. Damasteel, polished Damasteel. That looks amazing. Zercuti kit. This thing is fully done. Zercuti backspacer, pocket clip. And what's cool about the Arcanes and the upgraded Zerkuti kits, Zerkutai, Zerkuti. Why am I calling it Zerkuti? What is wrong with me? Zerkutai. Jeez, I know everybody collectively is like, what is he pronouncing that like that for? That is the oddest thing I've ever heard in my life. I know, I know, right? Zerkuti, like, it's like a charcuterie board. Zerkuti, Zerkuti board. Uh, Zerkutai. <laughs> what is going on? I think I had uh, maybe a little bit of a stroke or something there. That is bizarre. Uh, but what's cool about the Zerkutai kits on the Arcane Designs is they come with the pivot collars. Normally, uh, normally you just get the backspacer and a pocket clip. Uh, but with this, oof, man, I was... Here's the thing. So this was difficult. I didn't plan on getting this, right? You've heard that before. I always say that. Didn't plan on getting this. I was just going to stick with the two that I got, which I should have brought them down, but the uh, the yellow antiqued gold handles with the satin blade, and then the other one is the fully stonewashed. That was it. That's what I was going to get. But I loved this design so much that I was like, YOLO, I got to get Momo. And so I decided to pick this one up. Um, but I was debating cause I'm like, do I get another stonewashed handle with the Zerkutai and the Damascus or do I get, um, another gold anno with all that stuff? Um, and I decided to go with the black, but I don't usually love the black. 
So anyways, long story short, I was a little nervous. Like, is this the right, is this the right setup for this? But then I realized I can actually, what's cool about these knives is the machining is so precise that you can mix and match. And then I was like, you know what? I could take that blade and this Zergutai kit and I could put it on any of the other crypts that I have just fine. So really the only thing I'm missing in all my crypts is uh, the black blade. That's the only thing I don't have. Um, everything else, I could make any combination of crypt based off the three that I have, which is kind of cool. Kind of ridiculous, but kind of cool. Um, I got to say, I am blown away. I ordered this and then I was immediately like, what the hell are you doing? That was stupid. Shouldn't have done that. But uh, I am, this Damascus is outstanding. And the handles are different than I expected. It's almost like, almost like a dark gray. I was expecting really kind of, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. I think so. I was expecting really more of a uh, kind of a gummy, dark black type look. Uh, but really it's more of like a dark charcoal gray. And it just looks amazing. That Zerkutai with that dark, oh, wow. It kind of goes to show that, you know, sometimes you just don't know how things are going to look and how much you're going to like them until you actually, until you actually get them. And uh, despite the fact that this was a dumb decision to buy this, especially on top of the other ones I had, now that I have it in hand, I don't regret it at all. Super well done. Super well done. Um, amazing, amazing knife. All right, guys. So, Crypt Damasteel. And for those that don't know, Damasteel, it's Damascus. But it's a specific type of Damascus by a specific company. And it's kind of regarded as uh, the user's Damascus, right? So, it uses stainless steels of higher quality than you would see in a lot of Damascus blades. So it's very much geared towards beautiful Damascus that's also usable. Now that being said though, it's never as good as kind of the high, high, um, kind of the, the high tier regular stainless steels like M390. Like, you know, technically the M390 through, through hardened blade would perform better than this. However, this is better than from a usability standpoint, better than a lot of the standard Damascus knives that you've maybe had in the past. It's very much a usable knife and it's very much quite stainless. So rusting and things like that aren't an issue. And I really like how much polishing is on here. So it's got very little etching and it makes for just a really cool shiny blade with so much patterns coming through. Absolutely gorgeous done really really well and like i said this zerkutai kit is just out of this world on this knife looks amazing the pictures that i saw in the ads just don't do it justice uh it's polished to perfection i i believe it's chad nichols uh zerkutai but i could be wrong on the actual maker uh i don't know if it says in here think so and I was happy that they included the original hardware too because uh, I told them in the notes you know go ahead and install the kit on the knife um, and they included the original hardware so what I could do is if I want to I could do some hand finishing on this stuff um, I could turn this kind of antiqued gold bolsters into satin ones or you know I could flame these you know I could do a lot of different things with this if I want to and put it on to uh, a different night, a different knife. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I've rambled long enough. Appreciate you sticking with me and watching my channel. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, whatever. Uh, more knife content to come. And uh, really digging Arcane Designs lately. Um, really, really cool company. I should do a, a whole video on why I kind of like them. Aside from just, you know, designs and stuff. I think um, the companies ran really well. And I like the way the owner kind of does business and how he does his sales and his drops and all that kind of stuff. So uh, very, very cool. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Catch you later. See ya.